Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Today we're going to take a look at what the Tormach can do. We're going to use a roughing end mill and let's push it as hard as we can to see what sort of cut depth we can take in a chunk of aluminum. This is not something I actually think is the most important test you should do or think about when you're buying a home CNC mill. The Tormach is not a, a vertical machining center. I love mine, it's great, uh, but I didn't buy it for how much meat it could take off in one pass, but rather for the quality and the customer service and the innovation that Tormach provides on a continuing line of products. But a lot of people have asked for it and doesn't mean we can't have a little fun with it. I'm going to use this half inch three flute uh, high helix carbide rougher from Maritool. Let's uh, take a look at G-Wizard for some speeds and feeds and then let's see what we can get uh, out of the mill. All right, I've got my carbide end mill, half inch, three flute, uh, three quarter inch stick out, check the rougher. And let's assume we're gonna try to cut uh, full depth of cut, half an inch. I know my horsepower is on the Tormach is max around 3000 RPM. On the lightest cut speed, that means 17 inches a minute, 0.75 horsepower. If we were to kick that up to here, we could, should be able to go 35 inches a minute, which is right at the peak horsepower. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the machine, see what we get. We're gonna start with a 0.3 inch depth of cut at 18 inches a minute. That should be about half a horsepower. This should be a nice and easy cut to start off this test with. Same depth of cut, which is 0.3 inches. This time we'll do it at 35 inches a minute, which should be about 0.8 horsepower. Sounded a little bit more of a strain, but uh, I think we've got some room left here to, to take a more aggressive cut. Okay, third and last cut at this depth of cut. Again, we're still at 0.3 inches. We're gonna try it at 50 inches a minute. According to the G-Wizard, that's 1.25 horsepower. Uh, just starting to push the limit of uh, what the Tormach can do. I wanted to mention as well, it's important that you choke up on the end mill as I'm doing here so that you minimize the tool stick out from the tool holder. Okay, you could definitely hear more strain there, but again, the tool is still intact, and if you look at the uh, bottom surface finish of the part, it seems okay, for, especially for a rougher. So let's uh, go down to a deeper depth of cut and see what we get. Okay, here come the real tests. Half an inch depth of cut. I'm going to start off at 18 inches a minute. That should be about three quarter of a horsepower. Again, all of these tests are being run at 3,000 RPMs. Let's see what happens. That sounded pretty nice. I think the mill actually uh, liked that cut. Same cut, this time at 27 inches a minute, which should be 1.13 horsepower. Okay, sorry, bad timing on the air compressor. Um, that definitely sounded under more strain. Let me clean off the material here and try that again. Okay, let's try that again. Half an inch depth of cut, 27 inches a minute. It sounds like this is pushing the limit of the tool. Uh, let's take a look. Yep. Uh, that's all we're gonna get. That should be 1.13 horsepower. I told myself making this video that I'd be okay if I broke the end mill, but I don't think that it makes any sense to push it harder than that. You can clearly hear the spindles under strain. However, what's interesting is that even though the spindle sort of gave out on us running at 1.13 horsepower here, when we ran the cut at uh, 0.3 inch depth of cut at 47 inches a minute, that was actually 1.2 horsepower, a higher horsepower, and a higher material removal rate, 5.6 cubic inches, whereas what we just ran 
half an inch depth of cut, 27 inches a minute, was only 5.4 cubic inches. Both are great numbers, um, and so I would highly encourage you to look at software like G-Wizard that can help you evaluate how to maximize material removal rates. Hope you've enjoyed that. That's all today. If you have enjoyed it, if you don't mind, click like on the video or subscribe. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks, folks.